everyone. Uh, my name is York Chen. I'm from Quick Flash Technologies. And we are developing a controllable transition lens that can change uh, degrees of darkness of sunglasses in three seconds. And there are 800,000 workplace eye injuries happen per year in the US. And construction companies have to pay 300 million extra dollars to cover all these costs. And actually, 90% of these eye injuries can be preventable by wearing protective eye eyewears. But for construction workers who constantly go from indoor to outdoors, they have to change from safety goggles to tinted goggles, which means it is very inconvenient for them to switch between each other and also very unsafe if they don't have enough time to change. And our solution is combining the normal safety goggles and tinted goggles into one safety goggles that we call quick flash safety goggles that we can change between uh, clear mode to tinted mode in only three seconds. We integrate a switch button into the glass frame that you can change from manual mode to auto mode. And in manual mode, you, there is a touchpad on the glass frame that you can change the degrees of darkness at the will of the users. And for competitors, uh, compared to traditional transition lenses, they need over 10 minutes from tinted to clear states. And they use UV rays as a trigger, which is very passive. You have to wait for the chemical reaction to happen. But we are using a new technology called electrochromic that can change colors in three seconds. It's totally controllable. We have no temperature effect and work perfect in, in cars. And on the left-hand side, these are all the traditional transition lenses companies. And on the right-hand side, uh, we find two other startups also doing the electrochromic market. And we compare these uh, two companies. Uh, one of them called Control Eyewear. They have already crowdfunding on, and on Kickstarter and Indiegogo about three years ago. They raised about $1 million on the two customer market. And the other one, uh, their project just canceled on Kickstarter, so we haven't ha have any data for them. Compared to Control Eyewear, they're using LCD as the electrochromic technology, which needs continuous power which means they, they can only uh, offer 70 hours battery life that they have to recharge the battery. But we are using a pulse technology that we can uh, support 5,000 transition times that uh, you can, then you can recharge for another 5,000 times. And our transition speed uh, is a little bit slower, but I don't think 0.1 seconds and 3 seconds make any difference to human eyes. And also, our customers targeting to uh, construction workers. And the business model for phase one would be uh, sell our products to construction companies. And for phase two, we'll license our quick transition technology to large eyewear manufacturers. And we'll gain some part of their revenue as a royalty fee. And the th third phase would be to build up our own brand and uh, and sold our products to regular customers. And the market size for phase one, uh, for the safety goggles market, there are uh, five, uh, over $500 million. And there are actually set over 700 million construction companies and over 7.3 billion construction workers in the US. And we can actually expand this market by uh, adjust our selling price. And this is me. Uh, this is kind of my second startup company. I sold my first one uh, successfully exit with 10% of the royalty fee. And I worked for Sunny Optical for a while. They are the world's largest optical manufacturing company. And we have another uh, co-founder, uh, Jun Chao Wu. He is one of the professors in UC Berkeley. And he's leading the uh, technology innovation and patent application. And we have Kevin as our VP of manufacturing. He worked for Sunny Optical for, uh, f and this is his third startup companies. And he also worked for Apple as the, the senior quality operation lead. And he is going to be our VP of manufacturing. Uh, I also have uh, one of my friends called Ivy. She is the treasurer and CFO of our company. She is in charge of the financial and tax strategies. And we have uh, eight engineers in our teams as material science scientists and also mechanical engineers and electrical engineers. This is our price table for the three phases and also 
uh, sales channel, so I'll just skip it. The unit cost is only $25 for the R&D phase. We can cut down on costs in manufacturing process. Uh, we were looking for a million dollar seed funding to support our R&D and manufacturing. All right, on to the judges for their questions. Uh, who's the team expert knows the construction industry in your team? Uh, we have uh, an advisor as a construction lawyer. He works 30 years in the construction field. Have you done any validation on this? Yeah, yeah. We talked to a lot of construction companies, including their safety managers and also some construction workers. And we have a verbally uh, pre-order agreement. We haven't generated any revenue yet because we haven't like have any uh, uh, manufacturing mass production products. We have our prototype here. You can have a look at that later. To be honest, it wasn't clear to me why you, you picked this market and not going to the royalties at the beginning. It's, it looks like a direct sale and you need to go to distribution channels. Also, it will cost you with production and all those things. You need to, to raise more money in order to grow. Uh, so I wanted to understand that. Uh, second thing, uh, I wanted to understand how, how did you cover yourself with patents because there are companies and I invested like 14 years ago in a similar company that did something similar. Uh, what is your patent stance and if they are covered here or elsewhere? Okay, so uh, why we choose phase one as the uh, construction company's company? That's your first question. Okay, because, uh, okay, uh, first we think uh, construction companies, uh, the transition time for them is the pain points. But for just regular customers, you can wear uh, normal transition lenses. You can wait up to five minutes for it to change colors. But for construction workers, it's not very safe for them. And we talked to a lot of construction workers, and it is their pain point. And the construction company worried a lot about this safety issue. And they were willing to pay extra dollars to cover this. And that's why we choose construction field as our first step into the market. And for the second one, uh, you're asking for a competitive analysis compared to other? OK, uh, we actually have some competitors that are targeting to the B2C market, that are targeting to like regular people who wear prescription glasses. And just as, as I mentioned, I find that they are not their pain points. And also for this company, I just mentioned as our main competitors to the 2C company, they have switch, switch design issue and battery issues since you're using the continuous powering LCD technology. For the harmless, it's also LCD. They have to continuous charging the to change color. But our technology, when you pulse it, it changes colors and it maintains its states until you charge it next time. So you don't have to continuous powering the layers.